interesting topic. Uh, yesterday we heard the news that uh, one of those who drew a cartoon for Muhammad, he uh, died by a car accident. The Muslims are around the world, they are celebrating the victory of Allah and they are saying that Allah, he killed him. So I said to myself, let me make a challenge. I'm, a, I'm going to make a cartoon, Life on Air. And actually, just two days ago, I made a cartoon, you remember? When the Abdul was showing me, uh, we were talking about the shaitan who uh, command Muhammad, if you go to the previous video, you will see it. How does Allah work? I mean, okay, so if the guy have a, a car accident that Allah killed him, we will go over this just for a joke, but just to show you from the beginning. You know, Allah is God, I suppose, right? I mean, come on. So if I draw a cartoon of Muhammad, and not only draw, I'm going to make it as a challenge to Allah. Like, do it now. Uh, you know what? I will give you five minutes. I will give you, uh, if you want more time, Allah, just ask for it. So, you know, actually this guy, when he draw the cartoon for Muhammad, it, it's, at, I don't know, it's silly. It's not even close to the, the level of my art. You remember last time when we spoke about uh, the shaitan, he command Muhammad, and I drew Muhammad uh, and the shaitan in his shoulder because the Muslim, he said to me, the shaitan was in his, you know, like uh, his uh, whispering to him. And then I made the, uh, and Allah, here we go, start, stand counting time. Should, should I put the clock? Shall we put the clock? Can you, Allah, cut my orta the same you cut the orta of your prophet? We will go there. Uh, it's a challenge. Here we go. I'm drawing Muhammad life on air. If Allah have the guts, or have the nuts, or have the butts, or have whatever parts, if he is true, well, I am making a challenge for this puppy. This is a prophet Muhammad, he was so beautiful. And prophet Muhammad, he wanted to be very pretty. So he decided to put eyeliner three times a day. As the hadith they said, I can show you. And you know, we have to be honest here. Uh, let me change the color, hold on. I made a, with the black hair will look nicer. We, remember, we want Muhammad to look sexy and you know it. So Prophet Muhammad, after he you know, every day, he put eyeliner three times a day. I mean, I know there's many women, they don't even put it once a day. But Muhammad, he have to put it three times a day. I mean, this guy, he is very, it's very important for him how his eyes look like. Actually, if you watch the video of uh, what his name, I forgot his name, the one you say, he say, look at the prophet, and he look at the moon, he look at the prophet, he look at the moon, he look at the prophet, he look at the moon, he look at the prophet, he look at the moon, and the guy is almost like dying, crying. He look at the prophet, and he look at the moon, he look at the prophet, he look at the moon, he look at the prophet. And what kind of eyeliner is this eyeliner? It must be made in Arabia. Well, it was made in Arabia, actually, local made. This is why it's messed up. So now Muhammad, he put eyeliner, and we are waiting for Allah to cut my arta. The Muslim now in the chat, they will say to you, Oh Allah, uh, you know, he will give you time, but he will never, you know, he will punish you. Don't worry. Uh, no, you, I just made a challenge. Five minutes. What about before I finish it? You know what? I think Allah, he have a, you know, I mean, the communication of Allah is very slow. Even the Quran says so. The Quran says the angels take them 1,000 years to go, 1,000 years to come back. And I wonder how Muhammad was receiving verses. Because if in Jibreel he need 1,000 years just to come down, let us say, Jibreel he came to Muhammad when he was 40. That means that Jibreel he left home, which is in the sky, uh, uh, 960 years before Muhammad's birth. And then he came to him and he gave him a verse or a chapter, supposedly, a very short one, and he squeezed him. Okay, the second verse in order to come to him, it have to take 2,000 years, because remember, one year, 1,000 years to go, to go, and 1,000 years to come back. 
So I think Allah, he is going to cut my orta after 2,000 years. So this is a prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. He's so, he's so pretty. MashaAllah. And that's why the women, they die too, too, you know. We will try to make his lips, lips, uh, lips nice, you know. We will make them red. And he have lips stick. So the Muslim will not be offended, you know. Man, I put red, why it's coming black? Hold on. And this is the tongue of Muhammad, which he used, he used to suck children tongue with it. Prophet, you know, Prophet, he do those things. Only Prophet do things like this. They suck tongues of people, you know, and children, boys, you know, very normal. Yeah. So now we have a picture of a Prophet Muhammad and the picture is finished. Hold on, I'd not finish. I'm trying just to give time to Allah to do what he needs to do to prove to us that he is, exists. But I don't know, until now, nothing happening. I feel my heart is beating. Pum 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 pum. I think I start getting old time. All right. And you know what? I think the Prophet he used to have an antenna here to receive signals from Allah. And I don't know how slow this antenna is, but obviously it is very not not uh, not a good reception. If you remember Allah in the hadith, He said that Allah He go down every third part of the night, uh, so He can hear the people. So even proven in the hadith that Allah cannot hear people unless He go down. Why? Obviously reception is not good. Otherwise, I challenge Muslims to give me the explanation. Allah thinking, by the way, to put ponytail for the Prophet, but. You know, I think antenna is better. Uh, we don't want to offend anyone, you know. So, okay, the the drawing is finished. It's perfect. It's beautiful. Way better than this guy who died in the car accident. I mean, be honest with me. If we put his drawing next to my drawing, I, would be, I beat him easy. And nothing happened to me. I'm drinking my coffee. Hmm. So now, 10 years from now, or a year from now, or whatever years from now, Christian Prince died by car accident, by whatever they say, Allah, he killed him. <laughs> my friend all of us we would die anyway <laughs> I'm really convinced by the way let me let me save this image because uh, I want to say I want to send it to the museum of prophet cartoon museum you know they made one I mean there's thousands of people actually there's a there's a guy he sent me cartoon I encourage people to subscribe to his uh, channel uh, I posted his his cartoon before. I don't have the link. If the admin have the link for him, post his link so people they can say. Actually, those cartoons they take a lot of work. Way better than those drawing cartoon because it's a graphic, you know, moving uh, real cartoon. Let me let me take a screenshot here so we can save it. And by the way, the link I sent you for the cartoons I want you people to download or to save uh, the images one by one. And repost them again if you have a website, if you have etc. And see them in your computer because I know the Muslim will try to fight those things. And look, you know, I forgot something. I need to add here a bell. I mean, how I forgot that? A bell. Because the Prophet, he used to receive Quran in a sound of a bell. You know, school bell, you know. Ta -da -dum, ta -da -dum, you know, those are the ears of the Prophet. This is why they were read, because he was hearing Quran. And the sound of the bell come to his ears, you know, in a very smooth way, to the point the Prophet, he was dying from pain, which is a proof that he is mentally ill. Actually, if you don't believe me, here we go. The hate actually is open in front of me. Here we go. Abu Harith ibn Hisham, the funny is Abu Harith, you know, his name, his name is Abu Harith. Al Harith is, the, is one of the names of Shaitan. Ibn Hisham asked the Prophet, How does divine inspiration come to you? Listen carefully, this is serious. 
how does the inspiration people are curious like come on you know how 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 you get it like you know how you receive it what kind of receiver you do have can you just give us some details please about how you receive it so the prophet replied thank you prophet for replying i appreciate that from you not like trump you know or joe biden he said you know the thing at least you explain in all these ways he will count all the ways non-stop that's it you got it you ask for it you got what you asked for the angel sometime comes to me with a voice which is resembled the sound of a ringing bell. And when this is state abandons me, the guy he is going crazy. Actually, it says in Arabic, Yufsama Anhu, which means uh, Shafranidza. Shafranidza? I don't know. I don't know. You know how good I am in English. You know the thing, you know. So, okay. The prophet here receive inspiration like the sound of a bell. And now the Christian, they will claim that jungle bell, jungle bell, it was a Christian song. The fact it was Jibreel's song, he gave it to the prophet of Allah. And then the Christian, they stole it from the bathroom of the prophet window. This is why this song was not exist in the time of Christ. Can you explain to me, Christians, why this song does not exist in the time of Christ? Very simple. Because Muhammad, he received it from the angel Jibreel 600 years after, and a Christian man, he was listening to the prophet sing jungle bills, jungle bills, and then he took a recipe, and he spread it. And, you know, like, you know, the first... Sometimes I ask myself questions, which is not valid questions, because, you know, only Muslims have valid questions. Like how to shave a Muslim, he asks very serious question. Uh, sir, can I shave under my arm? Halal, it's halal, brother, go ahead. Uh, sir, can I suckle the, neck, the nipples of my wife? Absolutely, but be careful not to drink her milk, because that will make her your sister, <laughs> which is very funny. But uh, <clears throat> the prophet receiving... Hey Allah, come on, are we waiting for long? When you are going to cut my orta? I mean, the life is almost almost going to finish soon. What the heck? I mean, I'm really disappointed. I mean, is that how slow the internet of Allah? Do you think he did not even notice our uh, life until now? Isn't it Allah is all-knowing? What happened to Allah the all-knowing? Maybe we should change it to Allah is all deaf. Allah is all deaf. Okay. So Prophet Muhammad, he received Quran as the following. Hello. This is see the, see the Prophet. He answered. Did you hear it? Hold. Hello. Uh huh. So this is Jibril. He have a sound of a ring. He is giving Quran to Muhammad. How Muhammad he say hello? Even the word hello came from Prophet Muhammad, and those Western they stole it from him. In different forms, the ring of the bell was different. Here you notice there is no hello, because Muhammad now he got it. Uh, he was receiving inspiration. In different time, if Muhammad is going to school, you know, like uh, he received this. Mm -hmm. That is a school time Quran, like Al Fatiha. Sometime Muhammad, actually, if you notice, all the forms of ringing was coming from Prophet Muhammad, peace upon him. As an example, this one. This is my grandma phone, if you remember. Yeah. But however. When Prophet Muhammad received Quran and still we are waiting for Allah to cut, uh, you know, to kill me. Well, it's a slow God. Hmm. But the question which was really annoying for me, how Muhammad received Quran in a sound of a bell, and then how the sound of the bell became an Arabic Quran. Hmm. Huh. You know, that's, that is something. And then I thought about it deeply. 
and I come to the conclusion that the first one who made the Morse code is Allah. Otherwise, how you explain to me that Muhammad he received a sound of a bell and then he make it in Arabic Quran. So like he received taradam, 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 and then he say in Arabic, taradam, the first taradam is bismillah al-lahman al The second taradam, it is alhamdulillah rabbil alameen. The third taradam is the, uh, what the heck, man, this is so much. I mean, talk, I'm, I'm getting, I'm, I'm getting dizzy now here. Did I say now here? Oh, the Muslim, they will say, see, Allah is start killing him slowly. <laughs> Trust me, Muslims, one day Christian prince will die and he will say Allah killed him. <laughs> My friend, there's billions of free people, they are laughing at your prophet. Why you don't kill them? Do you know how many people make, make, make cartoon of your prophet? I mean, Muslims are desperate. But anyway, let us focus on something more, some more, something, something. You know, we Middle Eastern, by the way, like we say, like something, you know, like uh, uh, Pakistan and uh, uh, Cuba, not Cuba. It's, uh, and people who listen to us, they say, why those people, they speak this way? Because we have letters, you know, you know, like we have letters you don't have and you don't, you have letters we don't have. So we, we, we say it in the, like in the, let us say the natural way of our language. So let us say English is converted into Middle Eastern style. <laughs> you like it, like it, you don't like it. Uh, I will send my cousins, Al-Qaeda. Hmm? You better like my accent. We are very peaceful people. Yeah. We just chop the head of the one who don't agree with us. That's all. Very easy, man. very easy, you know. Agree with us, your friend. Okay. So anyway, I'm still alive. Hmm. Okay. Uh, actually, there is a website. Uh, let me uh, let me open this website here. Uh, I want everybody. To download the images not to save the link because the link one day might disappear and post them around save images one by one we do what we save the images one by one actually this is one of the best cartoon ever made about Muhammad obviously the one who did it is really a good artist uh, not like this is Swedish one. I mean, if you compare to this uh, Swedish drawing and this guy drawing, we cannot compare. You know, there's no way to compare. I mean, that was a sketches of pencils and goat and etc. And that's not even cartoon. The one who made this cartoon, I have to say, he is even better than me in cartoon. You see, I mean, I have to be honest here. Like, I, I thought I'm the best for a century, you know. But look at this guy. The crying tree of <laughs> Prophet <laughs> and he put for you the hadith reference. So the Muslim they can't complain. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Brother and sisters, Muhammad he made the tree cry. Narrated Jabir ibn Abdullah, the Prophet used to stand by a, a, a steam of date palm tree when the puppet was placed for him. We heard the steam crying. Like a Bretnet, uh, uh, like a bigonet, she camel. Oh boy, like a like me till the prophet get down from the puppet and placed his hand over. <laughs> true story, true story. <laughs> uh, Muhammad he command his followers to drink camel urine. That's a good thing. I mean, it's actually proven. You, you will see, but then tiptoe. Tell the Christian, they say that camel urine is disgusting. I say to you, that camel urine proven by saying this from the pan, that in the best, in the medicine. What the heck? Camel urine is the best in medicine, so why you are buying a vaccine for corona? Drink camel urine and the problem is solved. What? No problem, no problem. By the way, I speak Spanish too. Did I tell you the story of the guy, uh, Mr. Basura? There was a guy, you know, we are genius. We are Arab, we are genius. So like once there's a guy, he is a Mexican. I love Mexican people. He would come and he throw his garbage in my garbage container. 
So I said to him, why you are doing that? You know, I, I saw him first time, second time, third time. And then he said to me, Basura, because my Spanish is so good. I thought this is his name. I said, this is Mr. Basura. <laughs> Don't throw your garbage here. He keeps saying to me, Basura, Basura. I said, I know, that's it. I got it. Don't keep saying it, but don't throw garbage here. And then was the guy was walking by, he says, tell this guy, Mr. Basura, you know, uh, he said, why are you are calling him Basura? I said, what this is, he said, this is his name. He said, no, Basura means garbage. <laughs> we are genius, you know, destroy the profit from us, not from you. I mean, we have to admit, we learn first. You know, Basura. The guy he said Basura, that means his name is Mr. Basura. Uh, Muhammad, he says, the Abraham, his father, his name is Azar, but Azar means foolish. <laughs> anyway, anyway, let us continue the, the cartoon. What is the year? What is here? Prophet Muhammad had, had lies? No way. You must be kidding me. You remember, uh, uh, if you remember, there was a, a guy, his name is Osama Abdullah. You know, and this guy he came to my chat room one day in Palto. He said, A Christian prince, you Christians are dirty. I said, How? What do you mean? He said, You are full of lies. I said, Are you sure? He said, Yeah, I'm very sure. I said, Are you sure? I said, I'm very sure. I said, Are you sure? Are you sure that the one who have a lies is very dirty? He said, So why do you have a lies? I said, That's wonderful. Read this hadith for me. <laughs> And the second I showed him the hadith, suddenly the, the lies is something good. So some Abdullah starts saying, uh, you know, the prophet have lies because at that time it was like, uh, okay, you know, I, uh, a second ago it was dirty and Christians are dirty and you have lies. The second after the prophet is full of lies and even he's dying from lies. Suddenly it became clean and pure. Yeah, Islamic, you know, Islamic. Uh, and here the hadith and the reference, you know, this is why I like this cartoon. Here the prophet is being bewitched. I love this one. This is the best. Look at this one. I mean, the prophet would be uh, would be bewitched at the time and he would say things that were not true. No way. The prophet was bewitched. And look at this guy. I mean, this guy, he had a very good sense of humor. <laughs> look at this sign. Did you see the sign? I don't know if you notice it. Look at this sign. Magic spell cast daily. Is that the daily telegraph spell? <laughs> What happened? We are waiting for Allah to kill me. Yeah, we Christian Prince, we Christian Prince. Allah is, you know, is Allah is so slow. He's like a turtle, you know, the turtle god. Ten years from now, you will die in a car accident or cancer or heart attack or from eating, uh, uh, you know, baklava, whatever, you know. And they will say, Allah killed him. Allahu Akbar. So the prophet, he was under the influence of daily magic spell to the point that the prophet, he imagined himself that he done a thing. In fact, he did not. Wow. Not only that, that even affect his sexual intercourse relationship. The prophet, he used to do intercourse, but it was not with his wives. But the hadith did not say with who, because he was imagining it was his wife. Mm, yeah. Yeah, they always, they say, in in correct? So there is a verse in the Quran that says that Allah, he stopped all those who can laugh at Muhammad from laughing at him. Ah, uh, yeah, true. Exactly. <laughs> the witness, I mean, we can prove it today and every day. Yeah, so the Prophet, even his sexual intercourse was not sexual intercourse with his wife. It was sexual intercourse with something else. I cannot give details, sorry, because I don't have an idea. And how I know? Allah knows best. Bukhari volume VII number 660 narrated Aisha magic was work on Allah Apostle that he used to think he had sexual relations with his wives, which he actually he had not. You cannot make cartoon about this. 
You cannot. <sighs> look at this guy. Like, oh, look at this guy. This is the guy who did the. I don't know if you guys you noticed the picture. Try to try to uh, try to focus in the picture a little bit. Okay, look at this. Do you see? Let me make it. I don't know what color will make it more. I don't know, right? Do you see this guy? This is the ugly guy who made he made the, the he made the prophet under the bewitch. Look, look at him. Look at him. Look his nose. Look at his nose. He's evil, brother. He's evil. By the way, Allah killed him too. <laughs> Yeah, he died. Yeah, he died. Yeah, Allah killed him. Mm, yeah. So the guy he used to stand in the top of Muhammad, he took some hair from where we do not know. Some they say from his private part. This is why you have to hide your private part here. You know, never throw it like in, don't, don't let people have any hold of it. I heard that there is a special unit in the White House. Like when uh, Joe, uh, you know, Joe, you know the thing? We know the thing. Yeah, so uh, when Joe, they know the thing, he shaved his pubic area. Uh, they have a special machine to destroy it by fire because they are afraid that a Jew like Lubaid ibn al-Asam, this guy, he will take it and control the president. You don't want to be controlled by the Jews. You don't want to control, honestly. I mean, you can, you can, you can do that. You have to be careful with the hair from the pubic area. So supposedly the Jews, they took some hair from the prophet and they uh, like they like sha shaka hu hu ha hey ha 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 shalom. What? Shalom. It have to be that you have to you have to have put the fingerprint of the Jews. Shalom. <laughs> so sha ha ha la ha la hu ha hu shalom. Okay. And now the prophet he think has in having sex, but in fact he did not. That's true. True story. And the funny is, this is what the Muslims taught us. So you can imagine how bad the story was more than this. This is a short details of what Muhammad, I mean, the guy supposedly, some they say a year, some they say six months, whatever it is. If if this is the, the wives are saying that, so what the people were saying about him and what was happening for real, use your imagination. Okay, let's go down for more cartoon. Don't forget again, save those images one by one. Don't just save the link. Save them and repost them everywhere. You know, it took me a little of time actually to find it. You know, uh, and uh, because maybe one day this website will disappear, and we don't want to lose these images. The fingers of life. The Muslim could not find any water. They could not find water. What happened? I saw water flowing from underneath his fingers. Me, Prophet Muhammad, he have ten spring of water coming from his fingers. True story. The funny, the Quran says we refrain from giving him miracles. The Hadith says that Muhammad did all of those things. Mm -hmm. True story. And this is why he was taking shower with dead dogs and women blood from period. Muhammad food would shout praises to Allah as he eat. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> you see, it happened to me, you know? Like, look at the carrot. The carrot is shouting praise be to Allah. Alhamdulillah, Bismillah, Allah, And look at the wife, she is like, cannot believe it, you know? Like even the chicken, she have a knife inside her butt. And then the chicken praising Allah. Muhammad is holding a fish. He is going to put the fish in his mouth. The fish is praising Allah. Look at this. Uh, this is what? Uh, uh, pumpkin? I don't know what is this. Uh, this is uh, this is tomato. Everything, everything is okay. Bukhari. That we heard the meal glorifying Allah when it was being eaten. Amazing, brother. Bukhari, volume one, volume IV, number seven seven nine. You see, they cannot complain. I mean, the reference is there. Go check it out. I don't know. Okay. Allah hammer. Oh, don't talk about the hammer of Allah. That is the from movie. Just, you remember? Okay, hold on. We have a better cartoon than the cartoon here when it's come to the hammer of Allah. 
excuse moi you see i speak french see i have multitask you know languages but i don't i'm very humble oh uh, you remember the the video about uh, the uh, the grave this is coming from here the story is coming from here you know about the grave the punishment of the grave after this world uh, let me talk about a few of the punishments which will happen in the grave to the bad people tell us tell us and those punish are <laughs> of course very fearful i'm and scared the punishment will start from here that two angels will uh, will come uh-huh they will ask you three questions three questions I mean, look at this guy, Muhammad. He's stuck with number three. He say assalamu alaikum three times. He clean his nose three times. His ears are then even he shake his penis three times. And now they will ask you, you are dead. And they will ask you three questions. About what? Three people. Who? Or three three things. Your Lord. Who's your Lord? Second. What is your religion? Third. I mean, look at this exam, man. Look at this exam. Who is your Lord? What is your religion? And what is the third one? Who is this person? No oh, way. And look how he blink with his eye. Who is this person, huh? Blink with your eye when you say it, because you can feel it more. The atmosphere. Like, blink with your eye. Who is this person? Who is this person? You are in the grave now. This is a story that the Quran, you know, the cartoon we showed you. This, this is here. This is life story now. The Muslim they believe totally in it blindly, you know. So he blink and he says, "Who is this person?" Okay, who is this person, by the way? And they will show you a face of Prophet Muhammad, sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Ay Allah, he pray on him. They will show you the face of the Prophet Muhammad. And now you have to recognize him. But this guy, he never saw Muhammad. No problem. Still, you have to recognize him. <laughs> uh, okay. He was salam. May peace and blessings be upon him. When he, when the angels will ask you the first question, who is your Lord? Uh huh. The people will answer, I don't know. I don't know. Maadri. Uh huh. This is uh, in Arabic. Maadri means I don't know. Thank you. Will ask, what you know what? I'm going to join your classroom to learn Arabic. Maadri mean uh, I don't know. Look how deep his knowledge in Arabic. Look, I mean, so good, man. Continue. You remind me of Mimi Hijab when he said to David Wood, you don't know Arabic, you don't know Hebrew, I know this is coming. Elijah is God with us. <laughs> Continue. What is your religion? You will say, Ma'adri. Look, what happened? What is, what is an atheist? He do not know. What if the guy is a Hindu? He do not know. All the questions they say, all, all, all of them, they will say, I don't know. They must be Arab. You know, <laughs> where is your wife now? I don't know. Was who? I don't know. Is that your son? I don't know. Look like this is a very uh, popular word in the Islamic world. I don't know. I don't know. Who is this person? I don't know. Madri. I don't know. Uh huh. Then the angels will hit you with a hammer between your two ears, mean on your face. Stop. Go back to the cartoon. The angels will hit you with the hammer in your head. Boing, 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 boom, 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 boing, boom, 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 boing. Wait, hold on. Did Allah kill me or not yet? Still, I'm alive. What happened? Hmm. So the angels will hit you with the hammer in your head. And if you do not know what will happen to you after you hit you with the hammer in your head, let us zoom in on your head. So to, just to give you an idea, those who don't believe in Allah, you have no idea what's coming to you. Look at his head. Look at this guy. What happened to him? Those hammers look big. Look how big the hammer is. And by the way, this hammer is, you cannot find it in Home Depot. I'm just telling you, only in the flea market of Allah, right? 
So the angel, he will come and he will hit you with the hammer. Did you watch the movie? It's called Thor. It, this one is even heavier, heavier, you know, way, way heavier. I'm telling you. Okay. All right. We'll go back to the hammer movie. Uh huh. Look at his eyes. I mean, intelligence is dropping from everywhere. I hope he have like a dish underneath because he's leaking a lot of intelligence. Now from here, um, if you see that those hammer will be of steel. You know what? I was worried that they are made from plastic because these days everything is plastic and, and made in China. But thank you for confirming that. And it will be kind of big and quite heavy. And if you hit your face from your hand, like this on your face do it again do it again for the sake of allah please how 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 your face from your hand like this on your face this is why i refuse the offer to teach people boxing because in islam if you are a boxing teacher you have to hit yourself this is how you teach him like how he like this like this like this look do it again I did not because a uh, teacher I did not get it how your face from your hand like this on your face you feel a little bit of pain and if you hit hard on the nose or on this part you will feel a lot of pain mm -hmm. and think how much hard will they hit you from the hammer very hard are you kidding me they will hit you with so much force that your head will blow in two parts Ooh. So how they will hit me again if my head became two parts now? <laughs> and they will glue it together. Inshaq al qamar the moon split, and Allah he glue it again. And then they will join again, and they will hit you again. <laughs> and they will keep hitting you for a while. For a while, they will stop later. That's it. Well, thank you. At least they will stop for a while. <laughs> Why you are adding things to the hadith? The hadith did not say that. And. Oh, if a person thinks that how much uh, with how much force and velocity will they hit me that hammer that with only one hit my head is gonna break up into pieces 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 hey Allah can you make my head pieces now before we finish the live stream to prove to that you can kill people look Allah he cannot kill anybody hmm. the you know, do you know who's who is now associating with me in the crime speaking about Allah and Muhammad YouTube, oh, everybody work in YouTube because YouTube became a place to, you know, expose Muhammad. Facebook, to Twitter, the internet, can Allah kill the internet? Yesterday, Facebook stopped working for some time. The Muslim, they will say, Allah kill it. <laughs> Imagine if I say now, can Allah stop the internet and then the internet stop? The Muslim, they will make a recording and they will post it everywhere. Christian Prince, he lost his. Uh, uh, you guys, you hear me? Uh, I lost my connection. Huh? Nobody can hear me. Alhamdulillah, Allah, he proved himself. Yeah, you cannot hear me, right? Just say yes, come on. So, I don't want to continue here. Actually, yesterday we were talking to two Muslims. If you remember, this is a video from yesterday, uh, not yesterday, two days ago. And we showed them the story, and the Muslims agreed that the stories of Muhammad are cartoon. What do you say? Are you there? No, he's Hello. not. Hello. Hello. Us. We answered the phone of somebody without knowing. How how we switched this guy? Okay, let's uh, let us move on for uh, for uh, you remember uh, this guy his name is uh, what his name jihad jihad he called and he said that his a prophet story sound like a cartoon and he's a muslim i'm asking you is there where is that where faith is located it is in the in the blood of muhammad or in the heart of muhammad the way i understand it is that th there are things that are unseen and that that only my friend Allah has, no has an understanding you, of. You see, you are the one who now is. Old. Look, you know, you guys, need to stop. Hold on. There's a Muslim. He is saying, "Who is attacking your God and your belief? Is it Muslims? You thick-headed man, you stupid idiot. 
Yeah, you recite Al-Fatiha five times a, a day, saying to Allah, please don't make us the same as the lost Christians or the cursed Jews. And all the Quran calling us kuffar, animals, dirty, nudges. You see how the Muslims, they play victims? They love to play victims. Who is the one is insulting your religion? Who? Huh? Nobody insulting your religion. Not only you insult our religion, you killed millions of us. You took our churches and you until now you kidnap Christian women, you rape them, and if somebody convert to Islam, you kill him. Who is insulting? Who is attacking your God? Huh? What a coward potato. Sit down. Sit down, sit down, act differently. This is what Muhammad, he said, when a Jewish guy walked by, and uh, the Jewish guy saw Muhammad praying in a certain way. So the Jewish guy, he said to him, this is how we do it. Just, that's all, he didn't say anything. He said, this is how we do it. What Muhammad, he said, sit down, sit down, act differently. Like, what the heck? This guy, he pray all his life like this, just because the Jewish guy, he said, this is how we do it. Muhammad, he said, sit down, sit down, act differently. You see how good, you see how he, how is a real prophet he is? To the point he changed the way Allah supposedly told him to pray in the speed of light, just because a Jew, he said, this is how we do it. What if the Jewish guy, he saw Muhammad doing poo-poo, and he said to him, this is how we do it. What Muhammad will do? He was doing it to stand and sit down, right? Is he going to doing it to standing up? Just because the Jew, he said, this is how we do it. Actually, this hadith is a clear proof that Muhammad is a fraud. Because so what if the Jew, he said, this is how we do it. This is the prayer he taught from Allah, correct? Was Muhammad doing the wrong prayer? The Muslim, they would say no. So why he changed it? And he said, act differently. Because Muhammad, he felt that he got busted. He is copying the Jews. Uh-oh, they notice I'm copying them. <laughs> Let us go back to the to the movie. Guys, you like my movies? Until now, Allah did not kill me. Open challenge to Allah to kill me before. I, I, we gave him five minutes. But it didn't work. Then we extend another five minutes. It didn't work. Then another five minutes. It didn't work. Look like it's not working. Allah is so slow. What you can do when you have a turtle god? What hour it was that? Uh, uh, here, I think. Let's see. God, you know, I went almost eight hours yesterday. Uh, two days ago. Eight hours. That you came to Islam. Then yeah, we I will talk to you about Christianity as much as you want. If you are a person who decides to leave Islam, then... Uh, okay, well, you know, let's talk about Christianity. But everybody knows my topic is Islam here, correct? It's not a secret for you. So, for me, why I want to waste my time? When somebody will say to me, I See the sledgehammer? The sledgehammer. Let's go to, to Jihad. Hold on, hold on. Where is Jihad? Here, maybe. Because you have no proof, you are lying. Correct? So, this is a trick. Most of them they use with someone, not me other Christians, they say it's a parable, they say it's a metaphorical, because the Christian will not ask him, okay, anything you say to them, they say it's a parable. Allah, he promised you, and in this penis, it's a parable. Go watch the video. It's, it's, a, it's a metaphorical. Okay, metaphorical of what? They will not give you. In this penis is metaphorical of what? Pipeline? Internet cable? Hmm. Yeah. Well, as you say, no problem. Okay, but as you see here, Muhammad he proved himself to be a false prophet. Why? Because if this story happened for real, as Muhammad he claimed, and the angels they have to do a surgery to install wisdom, that means Muhammad before the surgery was a fool. Do you agree? No, I don't agree that he was a fraud. So why? They are, no, I'm not saying fraud. I'm saying was a fool. Look, look. I say fool. They say fraud. Shaitan he did peace in their ears, as Muhammad he said. At least it was truthful in something, we have to admit. I say fool, they say fraud. Well, he, he had to be, uh, you know, he had to have his wisdom replenished. What? In the sense that, you know, 
always as as a human being you want to increase your faith you want to get closer to Allah uh -huh. so, so what does have to do with the getting closer to Allah Muhammad is created by Allah already correct yes okay Muhammad designated Allah he designated Muhammad to be a prophet before he created him correct yeah he was a prophet yeah you know before he was he designated him. to be a prophet, Allah he wrote okay. for him. So to now be a Allah decided to do maintenance because Muhammad is not a qualified. He decided to do maintenance because he is he is what? He is not qualified. Otherwise, why he is doing this maintenance? If who is the one who created Muhammad, who designed Muhammad? Give me the name. Allah okay Jalla so Allah he made Muhammad and now Allah is adding repair to Muhammad because Allah he did a surgery to fix something in Muhammad what he fix Muhammad have a lot of dirt inside and this is number one correct so but 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 that's your takeaway from it. I'm not it's this not? What, this is what the hadith is saying don't tell me my take this is what the hadith is saying they took what is inside and they wash it with zamzam even it says uh, what uh, alaqa there is there is a there is a bad blood inside him, inside your prophet. There is a bad, dirty blood. Halaqa. So, okay. Okay. So they wash his chest, which is full of dirt, and they, they increased. They increased his faith. They increased his wisdom. Before they we go, okay, his IQ. hold on. Bef okay, guys, did he say? Did you hear it? They increase his IQ. Did you say that or me? They did. Okay, but you just said they increase his IQ. Did I hear you correctly? I said that. Okay, that means Muhammad was a stupid. Because why he need to fix his IQ if he was a smart? But when I say increase, does does it mean he's stupid or or did it just get better? Well, no. So maybe 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 maybe, maybe Christian Prince has an IQ of 120, and Allah came no and, and washed My his friend, brain, and now what? he's 130. Well, hold on. So you are saying to me that Allah he found that Muhammad he have a lack of intellect and he decided to fix it. Well, when I say that, I mean uh, in terms of knowledge. So he, he gave him more knowledge. No, you are the one who said wisdom. you are the one who said IQ. Don't swallow your tongue. Everybody heard it. Yeah, I said it. No, not knowledge have nothing to do with IQ because a person he can be so smart, but he don't have too much knowledge because he did not get the opportunity to go to school. What does have to do with IQ? IQ is the level of intelligence, and you are the one who mentioned it. So your prophet was a fool, and now Allah He said to Himself, "How I'm going to make this idiot a prophet if he is a fool?" So let us increase his IQ. Correct? I I I I don't I don't see it as as him being a fool, but I I see it as the, the prophet alayhi salam being improved. Oh, he was guys, improved. it's been improved. So he was what before uh, before the improvement? He was a prophet doing the best he can, and he uh, he was good still. And mm -hmm. then he became better. This is how I see it. Okay. Now, do you want to tell me how I should think? Okay, hold on. So now Muhammad became better. How a person who became better? He say that they installed a dish of wisdom and faith in his vein. To increase his iman. Okay, so you put faith and wisdom in the veins. Yes. Is that something new, or something old? It says here, and then Jibril stuffed his chest and throat, blood vessels, with it. Do you do you believe in the unseen? This is not unseen. Muhammad, blood is a blood. Muhammad vessels are vessels. Muhammad the throat is a real throat. It's not unseen. So don't give me but the. I'm, I'm just gonna tell you. I'm just gonna no, tell I'm, you. Uh, no, don't tell me. I'm asking you. Is there where is that where faith is located? It is in the in the blood of Muhammad or in the heart of Muhammad. The way I understand it is that th there are things that are unseen. And that that only my friend Allah has, no has an understanding you, of. You see, you are the one who now is all over the place. 
Who is talking but about I'm, the NCAA? I'm, I'm on the topic. Did I jump? No, you are jumping. Did I jump? Um, you are jumping. Who care about the unseen now? This is not unseen. This is seen. Muhammad blood okay, is seen. Okay, so, so but, but okay, okay. No, but, but, the, but Allah, the point is, okay, why he Allah opened his veins. Why he Allah in store? Okay, no problem. How Allah, the angel of Allah, he stuffed. Do you see the word stuffed? Yeah, I see it. Okay, explain to me. How such a thing happened? He stuffed his vein with wisdom and faith. Go ahead. What I'm trying to tell you is the angel mm. placed more 